Well, I'm still jamming old school, man. Um, uh, Cube, uh, Pac. I listen to a lot of the the new rock shit from the millennials now. Uh, but I don't like the rap, the rap. The rap can go bye bye. You know, all the, mumble rap. all the mumble jumble rap. Stop making whack rappers famous, people. Word to your mother. Well, how about a weed show? And we we were discussing it's messed up too. Him and I, we don't smoke pot, so it was like, let's do a weed show. Rocks TV. Oh, shit. Well, 10 years ago, I was smoking weed when me and Puppet Master and a few other people came up with the idea of doing a yearly 420 show. It was the 10th annual Still in Rotation show at the famous Simon's After Dark. Self-made man, check that shit. It's gonna be 13 commandments up in this motherfucker. Lexi, come here. Get what? on Rocks TV with me. When's it come out? It's your bestie. Fucking 13 commandments? May 19th, man. Catch me over in fucking Brighton, Michigan at the skate shop. Concrete Roots. Shout out White Rhino for putting that shit on. What up, bestie? <laughs> Straight up, just to finish that beat out, because I ain't no whack-ass rapper, I'm gonna kill that beat. 10th fucking year, 10-year anniversary, still in rotation, dude, it's dope. Beginnings were at the Old Modern Exchange, you know, a few of those. The first still in rotation was a blowout, dynamite. We had Men Award, Murder House, Autumn Cats up on there. It was so successful. Ever since then, we've been making it an annual thing, and it's just been fucking fantastic every fucking year. It wasn't all rap that night as the band Silence in the Stars came to rock. I'm Puppet Master. I'm Jay Coffee. And we are Verbal Abuse Corporation. What's up, people? Puppet Master and Jay Coffee unveiled a surprise collaboration with Brunei Moo at the beginning of their set. Now,
ask me, you know, Jay Coffey, why do you always wear a mask? And I say, we all wear masks. I just have the courage to wear mine on the outside. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. I hold two traditional annual shows as Dark Harvest and Still in Rotation. And it, yeah, man, this year's gonna be dope. 10 years, man, we got a lot of great acts, man. A whole bunch of new faces, dude. Trying to work on two mixtapes at the same time. Uh, I have a deluxe version of an older mixtape I made a couple years back called Tripolar. So I got Tripolar Deluxe coming out. And then I have a new one, which is called Red Hill Zone. And all that is Sonic the Hedgehog based beats. So uh, that's gonna be dope. That's gonna be fucking dope. I'm doing a couple songs tonight off of that. I can't wait to hear that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's gonna be a new song. It hasn't been released, but it's called uh, Don't Need No Guns. Uh, I perform it all the fucking time, but I just haven't released it because I like to keep the suspense. But uh, yeah, it's gonna be interesting. It's pretty much describing me as being a fucking psycho, but everyone fucking knows that. And uh, saying that I pretty much don't need any guns to beat your ass or kill you. I don't need them. Which I totally believe. <laughs> but, and the music video is gonna show exactly how. This man, he lays the beat and the flow and the genius. And I grab my guitar or my bass or my keyboard, or the fuck I was in reach that I can grab, and I jam with him. And I, together, that's how, we, that's how we jam. You know, he's been an artist for a very long time. Oh, yeah. I've been a musician a very long time. And it's just, we've been friends for decades. Fuck, since I was 14. Yeah, Dark Harvest 2, we had DJ Clay up in here, up in here in Simon's After Dark, so that was a really good turnout. And uh, yeah, that's when I brought this dude up on stage with me and shit, and we killed it. Just like how we're gonna kill it tonight and every single other night that we do. I mean, ever since that day, you know, because it was an experiment, you know, it was like, okay, well, here's this, here's this metal guy, you know, and there's this rap artist, you know, 
and he was, I was like, can we make our music mesh? Because we're both horrorcore as fuck, you know? You know, horrorcore doesn't have to be one genre. Horrorcore can be metal. It could even be fucking jazz if you use your imagination. You know what I mean? So you can have horrorcore jazz, horrorcore blues, you know what I'm saying? Horrorcore fucking symphony. No, oh, yeah. Matter, you know? But. I've been a musician for you know about 10, 11 years, whatever. And he had been in been a rap game since 2004, since I met you and Troubled Minds and Men Award. That's what pushed me to try the rap scene. Shout out to, of course, Bake Low and Histio. They're out in Indiana right now doing the 420 shit with Twisted. So, uh, yeah, shout out to them. Of course, shout out to my nigga Puppet Master for doing this shit with me. Um, shit, who else? Uh, of course, Andy. Andy Sherman, because, you know, he's been hooking the shit up for me since we started this shit. Uh, Raza Kel, man. Yeah, she showed me a lot of love when I was in Indiana. And, uh, yeah, we got some, we got some shit planned, me and her. So I can't really talk about too much with that, but me and Raza Kel got some shit. Well, I'm Puppet Master. And I'm Jay Coffey. And we want to give a shout out to Rocks TV. Still in rotation 10, bitches. Deuces. If you've enjoyed this video from Rocks, Rocks TV, TV, make sure you follow Rocks TV on Facebook and YouTube. If it's underground, we're there.